Okay, we've given you a basic introduction into the RE2. Uh, let's get some cables on it and uh, show you how quickly we can get Windows CE or your chosen operating system up. Okay. What we recommend in the first instance is that you buy the standard set of cables. They're not expensive and let's get them going. Uh, they're ideal to allow you to uh, start to program or to enjoy the features of the RE2 very quickly. Once you've decided what cables you actually need for your project, uh, then you can go to our website and you can choose which cable assemblies you need. You can look at all the various uh, connectors and crimps, etc., etc. Uh, we detail them all and you can have your own cables made. Okay. This cable I've just plugged in here is what we call the utility connector. Uh, you can see a range of bits and pieces off it. The, the main ones for the moment are it's got a power switch, it's got a reset switch, and it's got a wire which has, just pull it up for you, one black connection on it. If you look at the other connections on there, they're all just bare red wires. That one's red, sorry, that one's black, and the idea is it shows you the engineering pin on this board. Uh, more of that in a moment. Okay. Uh, you also get the choice of plugging in um, your own source of DC power or alternatively we supply a standard uh, plug-in uh, device. It's only a few watts, uh, so not expensive. Um, we'll plug that into there. For the, to get us going in the first instance, we'll actually choose one of our standard LCD assemblies. Uh, as you'll see a little bit later, there's a range of LCDs that we can choose to put on the RE2. It's incredibly flexible. Um, in the first instance, we'll just get something that's got a reasonable size and uh, resolution so you can actually see how easy it is to get it going. As I said before, the interface that I'm plugging it into is the uh, LCD interface and the connection is a straightforward 50 pin flexi. And that's all you have to do. In terms of the LCD itself, this is sitting on one of our chassis and it's got what we call a personality module on the back of it. Personality module, what that does is to take the standard blue chip interface, video interface, and then adapt it for the connections and the pinouts on the LCDs. Uh, one of the advantages is that LCDs are notorious for changing just when you don't want them to, so if that's the case, by modifying our personality module, well, we can cope with that situation. Okay, so in terms of the power, this is a 12 volt feed, but as I said before, anything between 7 and 36 volts will do the need. You can see our blue chip logo up there. In terms of the operating system that it's booting, it's Windows C6 Professional, and this is a rather a full image, which is why it takes a little bit longer than you would normally expect to see it. But nonetheless, uh, you can see how quickly she comes up. To give you a quick intro into CE, uh, it's the usual affair. You can see that touch is active and we can go into the various programs. Or alternatively, just to do a little bit of uh, an intro, we can pick up one of the video files that we've got here. And if I tell it to go full screen. So whilst the resolution of this LCD is relatively low, uh, it's 320 by 240, you still get a good impression of what video can be and more importantly uh, how you can use it for your application and your customers.